Hey guys, thank you for watching the Slat Rock channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified every time we post a new video. And if you've already done so, just make sure that it's still active. Here's your news for August 29, 2019. We're starting off with some huge news from CM Punk, as the former WWE Champion has given his first pipe bomb inside a wrestling ring in years. Punk, who left WWE in 2014, has certainly kept himself busy over the past five years, having a couple of matches in UFC and leading in the new horror film Girl on the Third Floor, which has received rave reviews. This week, Punk cut a promo inside the Pro Wrestling Tees ring to promote his appearance at StarCast 3 this weekend in his hometown of Chicago. Sitting in the corner of the ring, Punk says that he's not following a script this time and teased the possibility of causing some trouble, but said he hoped he didn't. The Straight Edge Superstar even took a bump in the ring, the first confirmed bump he's taken in over five years, and jokingly mentioned getting paid to do so in the promo. For just one bump, Punk said that StarCast promoter Conrad Thompson should pay him an extra 20 grand before turning his attention to some members of the WWE. Referencing Kurt Angle and The Undertaker, two superstars who both had to cancel their appearances at StarCast, Punk joked that he too was canceling, but said he won't be because nobody tells him what to do, a seemingly not so subtle dig at the higher-ups at WWE. As you can imagine, this has a lot of people speculating once again that Punk will join AEW, as the new promotion is set to have their show all out that same weekend, also in Chicago, but fans will have to wait until this weekend to see whether he debuts with the new promotion. Though Punk may see himself as an anti-authority figure, he isn't the only man to do so, as Stone Cold Steve Austin gathered a legion of fans standing up to the man in the Attitude Era. This week, WWE confirmed that the Rattlesnake will be a part of the September 9th edition of Raw at Madison Square Garden, just a handful of weeks after appearing at Raw Reunion. When asked about Austin's appearance, Mike Johnson of PW Insider Elite Audio said it could be because of the show's low ticket sales, saying, It's quite simple. They're half sold out for Raw and a little bit less than half sold out for SmackDown based on the seating maps I've seen, so they're going to add some additional attractions to try and bring people in. Having the Rattlesnake appear certainly will help bring fans in, though the WWE Universe shouldn't expect the 54-year-old legend to do much while on the show. Johnson said that Austin won't be taking any bumps during the show and probably won't be getting involved in any stories, as this Raw will also be the go-home show for Clash of Champions. Regardless, it's always great to see the former world champion appear, and fans can look forward to seeing Austin on September 9th as well as seeing The Undertaker the next night on SmackDown. Though Austin isn't returning to the ring anytime soon, one superstar who is is Bray Wyatt, who looks to have a huge match ahead of him on October 6th in Hell in a Cell. Currently, Wyatt is being advertised to face either Seth Rollins or Braun Strowman inside the barbaric structure, depending on which superstar leaves Clash of Champions as Universal Champion. Though Wyatt is no stranger to gold, being both a former SmackDown Tag Team Champion and WWE Champion, these reigns were incredibly short, and there have been reports of a custom title being designed for the Eater of Worlds, if he was to add the Universal title to his collection. The Monster Among Men was quick to comment about the possible title match and referred to their past together, saying it's the student's time to teach the teacher. In response, Wyatt told Strowman that he still loves him and that he's never lost to Rollins. In a bizarre twist, The Fiend also says that he doesn't care if he dies, so either Strowman or Rollins should prepare for the fight of their life inside Hell in a Cell for the Universal Championship. While it may just be a matter of time before Wyatt claims the Universal Championship, one superstar who could have become a champion this week but didn't was Kevin Owens. After losing his King of the Ring first round match to Elias, Thanks to some dodgy officiating from Shane McMahon, the Canadian was clearly in a bad mood on this week's SmackDown Live and took out his frustrations on the man who beat him. Leveling Elias with a stunner in the ring, the Musicians 24-7 Championship was easy pickings for Owens, but he chose not to cover him. When asked by a fan on Twitter about choosing not to win the title, Owens referenced his family and responsibilities at home saying he couldn't worry about defending the title at all times when dropping his kids off at school or going out for dinner with his wife. Though Owens didn't pin Elias to win the title, the singer-songwriter didn't leave with the title, as Drake Maverick was able to capitalize and get the pin, starting his fifth reign as 24-7 champion. 
Replying to Owens, Maverick told him, You don't know what you're missing. Though, if history is correct, the British superstar may find himself without the gold once again in the very near future. Over to some news from Cain Velasquez now, as the former MMA star continues to impress people since his performance at Triple Mania. On this week's Oh You Didn't Know podcast, Brad Shepard said that Velasquez's actions has got the attention of WWE, though while the company are interested in him, they're not actively trying to sign him. After a massively successful career in the Octagon, Kane can do whatever he wants at this stage in his career, and for now, that seems to be wrestling. There has also been a report that Velasquez took an informal meeting with New Japan Pro Wrestling, though it's ultimately up to the man himself where he goes next in this new venture. With New Japan, AAA, and maybe even AEW seeking out Velasquez, there is always the chance that WWE will snatch him up just to avoid him going elsewhere. But for now, it's Velasquez who holds all the cards. One superstar who is WWE through and through is Rey Mysterio, who this week got some brand new ink to celebrate his late friend Eddie Guerrero. In a YouTube video on WWE's official page, Mysterio showed fans the new tattoo, a tombstone inside of a cross with the initials EG inside, and told Corey Graves just how much the former WWE champion meant to him. Older fans will remember the epic matches Mysterio and Guerrero had, both teaming together and against each other, as Latino Heat is still remembered as one of the greatest superstars of the 21st century. Some new ink isn't the only major change the WWE's Ultimate Underdog has had recently though, as Mysterio recently underwent some popular but controversial stem cell therapy to deal with some nagging injuries. During the company's South American tour, Mysterio got some treatment at BioAccelerator and has had a glowing review for the use of stem cells since. In a post on social media, the master of the 619 described how stem cell therapy could be used for all sorts of ailments, including orthopedic injuries, brain injury, as well as immune diseases such as ALS, Alzheimer's, and Parkinson's. Mysterio isn't the only wrestler to praise stem cell therapy, as former WWE star Ryback has said he is doing worlds better after the treatment, while former ECW and Impact World Champion John Morrison has said the treatment is something a lot of wrestlers have gotten used to. Not only did Mysterio get the treatment, but he also wore his mask the entire time, which must have earned him some major props backstage. We are carrying on with our medical theme now as after two years dealing with an injury, Monday Night Raw superstar Cesaro is finally back to feeling like himself. In case you've forgotten, the Swiss Superman suffered a nasty injury at the 2017 No Mercy event, where his teeth were shoved up inside his head thanks to a post to the face. As if getting horrifically injured wasn't bad enough for Cesaro, he and his tag team partner Sheamus would go on to lose that night's match to the then Raw Tag Team Champions Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose. Following the match, Cesaro got emergency oral surgery, which meant that he had to wear braces for a very long time, which is why he wears his mouth guard. This week though, Cesaro revealed the braces were gone in a very unique way online, saying that for the first time in almost two years, he can enjoy fruit again. Anyone who's had braces will know just how painful they can be, so Cesaro must be feeling pretty liberated now that they're off his face. It's unclear whether the mouth guard will stay or not, as it does add to the Swiss Superman's cool mystique, though hopefully he'll be able to avoid a similar injury ever happening to him again. And finally today we're looking at SmackDown Live, as this week's figures saw a slight drop from last week. Though fans have praised the most recent show, which saw plenty of progress for both Clash of Champions and the King of the Ring tournament, the show had an average 2.08 million homes tuning in for the two hours, down slightly from the 2.14 million of last week's show. Though a decline in viewers is never good, the blue brand was at least able to keep itself above 2 million, something that hasn't always been the case in 2019. With Clash of Champions drawing near, the Madison Square Garden show on September 10th, as well as the Blue Brand's huge launch on FS1 this October, expect this number to rise sooner rather than later. Well guys, that's our news for today. Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. If you like this video, don't forget to check out our previous video. 10 huge, shocking WWE 2019 rumors you need to know about. Also check out our other high rated videos by clicking at the upper right hand corner or down in the description field. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss a single new video. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter and as always, 
Thank you for watching.